Hey there, everybody. Um, I'm excited to share with you today a little bit of organization. Um, I had someone ask me, can you show me ideas how to organize my stuff? And um, so within the next few weeks, I'm going to show you different um, ways to organize stuff, or at least my way to organize stuff. And I kind of do mine on the cheap side, um, so you'll see me repurposing things or using things I just have around the house versus going buying these huge stands to put paper in and stuff like that. So um, today I'm going to show you about how to organize your scraps. And if you're like me, you have tons of scraps and you don't want to get rid of it because it's still a big decent amount of paper that you could use for like a label punch or something like that. So I'm going to show you ideas. Um, what I have these folders, I don't even remember where I picked them up. Um, I think I bought my clearance for like a dollar for like eight for a dollar, five for a dollar or something like that. So don't mind what's on there. They're kind of cute, but... Um, I'm just using them for organization. So, obviously, um, when I have scraps, I like to keep them pretty neat um, and organized. Uh, and one thing I like to do is I will take a punch. I took um, a label punch and punched out the colors of paper that I have the scraps in, in each folder. So, each folder has... Um, one or two colors of scraps in it. So like this one is obviously yellow and orange. Uh, I have a gray one here where you can see that I punched the gray and I just put gray on there so I can read it. it um, but the gray kind of gives me a visual of what's in there. Um, and I do put, I don't know if you can see it in the gray so much, no, I don't have any patterned in gray, but you can see it in the orange. Like, I do put my patterned scraps in there as well. Like, that's orange and yellow, so obviously, um, or like this Dampin' Up paper is yellow ombre, and so I put that in there as well. Um, so I just kind of organized it like that. Then, um, and those are usually put back here. I just pulled them out so you could see them. But I have one for each color. I have white and glitter together. I have blue. Um, I have purple, black. So all of them are um, in there. And they're not organized any certain way. I just, except I put the white up front because that seems to be what I need to use the most. Um, and then I also have a folder for coupons. So you like if you go to Michael's or Joanne's or Hobby Lobby or whatever and you have coupons and if you're like me sometimes you throw them away on accident so this way I can store them up here and uh, use those. Um, and then I have like my foam and I have some acetate up here um, and stuff like that. And I also do keep my chipboard in here but I don't have any chipboard right now. So I just kind of keep everything labeled in here and stuff like that. So this is a really quick, simple way to store your paper um, if you're wanting to do it on the cheap side. This basket I've had, I don't know, <laughs> for years. And it just seems to fit my folders and my paper. And they actually keep this on top of my um, paper holder that holds all my 12 by 12s and my 8.5 by 11 so um and I do I'll show you that in another video but this just gives you an idea what to do so but I hope this helps I hope you have a great day happy crafting bye